Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I know I've been gone a while, but I've been working on a project. I'll let you guys see it soon. I'm almost finished. Anyway, here we go. We're going to read Psalms chapter 37, verses 25, 26, and 27. I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. His, he is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. <laughs> wow. I think I'm supposed to read verse 28. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Mm. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. This is Psalms 37. It, it, it's heavy duty. It's beautiful. It's encouraging. And sometimes we lose sight of the fact that we we hold a special place in God's heart. God wants us to know that he is very much aware, very much aware of what we're going through, what you're going through. He knows what's got you locked up, tied up in knots. He knows what's got you frustrated right now. He knows the things that are pulling at your flesh, that are pulling at your inclinations, that are pulling at your desires. He knows. He also sees you fighting the good fight of faith and doing whatever it takes to obey. He knows that too. So I want to tell you, whatever you invest in your righteousness for God will never come back void, will never come back empty-handed. God rewards righteousness. Let me read verse 29 to show you how he rewards. There's a part of our life, a certain segment of our life that God tells us to go in and repossess. And this is what it says, verse 29. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. In other words, there's a place for you. There's a certain purpose for your life. There's a certain reason for which you were born. And there are things that you were born to apprehend, things that you were meant to receive. And God will bring those things into reach as your reward. So don't think that because you may be doing without now, don't think that because things may not be lining up the way you hoped they would or the way you prayed they would. Just remember God is able. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think according to the power that works in, in us. Now listen, there's a, a song that says, um, I'll quote the words. Like peering through a window blurred with rain, emotions run together in a flood of doubt and pain. We prayed as best we can. Now we must leave it in his hands. Yet I know when my eyes fail to see. He is able. And even though it seems impossible to me, he is able. And if he chooses not to move in the way we prayed he would, I'm confident he's working all together for my good. I will stand behind his word for he is able. Questions seem to haunt us night and day. How can God allow my heart to be torn this way? Does he listen when I call? Is he even there at all? Yet I know 
when my eyes fail to see. He is able, and even though it seems impossible to me, he is able. And if he chooses not to move in the way we prayed he would, I'm confident he's working all together for my good. For I will stand behind his word, for he is able. Sometimes it's hard trying to believe that God's got your back. To say out of your mouth, God's got my back. He's got me. But there are times you feel, I have felt, we all have felt, even Jesus felt abandoned by God. God hasn't abandoned. He's right there. He fulfills his promises, even if you have to endure some pain while you're waiting on him. The last verse in this chapter says, and I want to read that to you, no matter what, mm, 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 mm. let's see, verse, not the last verse, verse 34, wait on the Lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Mm -hmm. So, but you'll also see it when the Lord blesses you and the wicked will see that too. Everyone will see it. So trust in the Lord, wait on the Lord, be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord, he will never forsake thee. I'm throwing all kinds of scripture together right now. He will never forsake you. He'll never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He's mindful of you now. He's mindful. He knows what's going on. But his wisdom, his ways are above our ways. His thoughts above our thoughts. Trust in that. When you can't see his hand, trace. When you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. <laughs> he alone is faithful and true. He alone knows what is best for you. Oof, God bless you. All these things are popping in my head. Most of them are quotes from word from different scriptures and different songs. But I hope something was said that encourages you. Hang on. Whatever you do, do not let go. He is the, he's the lifter of your head. He's, he's your savior. He's your keeper. He's your healer. Do not, of anything you let go of, do not let go of him. God bless you.